Fred McNeil and thank you for watching QAC TV 7. We started a new show where we bring in people who've taught in the county, driven buses in our schools, been custodians, worked at the Board of Ed office, and they talk about their experiences, where they grew up, where they attended school, what they did when they worked for the Board of Ed, and we also get to find out what the heck they're doing now. And this is our second start, so let's see if we can't, I won't fumble this time. Okay. Martha, how about you two guys introduce each other? I'm Martha Anthony. I'm Marcelle Ryan. So the second time it goes easy, doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> now, Martha, tell me, born and raised in Queen Anne's County? Yes. Okay. Grew up on Liberty Street. And you went to Queen Anne's County High? Yes, I did. And you said you were a field hockey player? Yeah. Newspaper reporter. Yeah. See, I'm taking all your I, lines from I, I don't, I, don't know. I was in the drama. I was in all Every of time. it. Plus, I was um, one of the students who changed our dress code at oh, Queen Anne's. You, you know, mm. well, you weren't allowed to wear pants back oh, in the... Oh, No, wear no. So it was 1970. Someone doesn't understand. No. I don't understand we were, we had to... Um, find some suitable outfits to wear and we had to have had to a conference. Dresses. We had to wear dresses. Okay. But we proposed to be able to wear pants. We couldn't wear jeans the, the first proposes. year. We proposed okay. it as a group of my classmates. Who was the principal? Um, Michael Wilk Wilkerson, mm -hmm. Phil Jackson Wait, were okay. the two principals. Okay. So we we did a fashion show, and the teachers, um, you know, we had watched pictures, it. and they watched it, and the students, and they have said this is what's appropriate to wear, mm -hmm. pant-wise, et cetera. The second year, we were able to what get jeans. What was the objection jeans. to pants? Women didn't wear Nobody pants? Nobody wore pants back then. You okay. wore skirts and knee-high socks and okay. village sweaters. <laughs> so it was just sweaters. the idea of uh, young women wearing pants. Was we wanted to wear pants. Yeah, which is great, school. right? And they yeah, changed? We were hippies. We wanted to wear it. We what wanted to wear it. What year did you graduate? 71. Oh, hey, Dad, the whole world was going crazy. No, we uh, would okay. stock. It happened two years before. We thought we're we ready. could certainly okay. wear pants at Queen Anne's okay. County High School. So you were so changing the dress code. I was changing the world. And this young lady graduated what year? Uh, 1979. 79. Now, what did you change at the high school when you were there? I know you cheerleaded. Yeah, I was a cheerleader for okay. the football. Uh, I only did it one season. Just didn't enjoy it? I uh, No, I did not. No, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I always told my, Bridget, my daughter, don't cheer for the boys. Go ahead and play sports. Mm -hmm. Let them cheer for you, right? The heck, <laughs> right, the yeah. heck with this stuff. Mm -hmm. And Martha, let's go back uh, again and repeat. I apologize. You graduate from the high school. You're wearing pants. Okay. And I'm you, wearing pants. And you, went, <laughs> and you went to where? What college did you go to? I went to Salem University in Salem, West Virginia. Okay. And I think you told me you played field hockey. Played I did. In college. Did you really? Mm -hmm. All four years? No, right. not all four. Just, just a couple. Mm -hmm. And you told me you were going to be a social worker. I wanted to be mm -hmm. a social worker and then oh, decided I couldn't well. change the world. Yeah. So <laughs> I started teaching. Okay. And um, came back here. And, and yeah, I lit, moved back here because at that time my husband to be was a New Yorker. Oh, really? Nothing against New Yorkers, <laughs> Fred. But he, I'm not touching it. I'm not touching it. Don't was, go there. He was a little older, and he loved it on okay. the eastern shore oh, of Maryland. So place to live, he right? moved. He was Bill Mulaski's roommate in college, in college. and fraternity I, brothers okay. and stuff. So they all they came made their little Center. life right here in Centerville. Okay, which is pretty. Yes. So. Now, after high school, what? After high school, I went to community college, Chesapeake. Oh, you went to Chesapeake? I went to Chesapeake and got my well, what, what years were they? Um, I didn't go right after I graduated okay. in 79. Okay. Um, uh, it, it was a while okay. before. You know, and I what were you there. doing? At what was the major at Chesapeake? What were you majoring in? Um, a little bit of everything? Or did, <laughs> did you know that? Business. Oh, you're bu so yeah. you're business. Yeah. Okay, we'll get to that when you get to the Board of Ed type stuff. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you're at the college. You graduated social work. You worked in a. You volunteered in an asylum and mm -hmm. decided no, you want to come home. Mm -hmm. Now home, and we we started to touch on. 
your dad's role, I mean, he was, your dad and mom were both very active. In the, your mom was supervisor mm. of English or something, right? For a supervisor of instruction. And what's your dad, something to do with taxes or estimates? He was a tax supervisor, okay. tax assessment for Queen right. Anne's okay. County. But he sold real estate first. And, oh, okay. And he taught at Stevensville High School. Oh, so he taught too. He did. He came back from Korea and started teaching. And I tell a funny story, if we have a minute. Take There's a Centerville resident, Bob Norris, who said that dad would um, ask the boys to bring their guns to school on the their school gun, bus. Their hunting guns. Their guns. <laughs> oh, and Lord. dad would have them lay down on the ground, and they'd take target practice <laughs> on the ground. He said, today's uh, world, imagine Martha, that would happen. I, when I first started here in the late 70s, as you know, the boys would drive their pickup trucks in yeah. front of Queen Anne's County Highway. They had their guns on yeah, the thing. Yeah, they had exactly. a principal who remained nameless who drove up after hunting at 6 o'clock in the morning and had in the back exactly. of his car. Exactly. Different exactly. times. Exactly. That was just a funny story. But oh, yeah. he is um, Stevensville. And then he started doing selling real estate and had his own company. Okay. Um, and then he was appointed supervisor of tax assessment for okay. Queen Anne's I think he County. was that when I we got here, late yes. 70s, early 80s, mm -hmm. something like that. Okay. Yes. And your mom, was supervisor a, of English? She was a, English, and then she was a supervisor of middle schools. Oh, when middle schools. When the schools okay. integrated, yes. that's when she started that. Okay. She was one of the teachers that went to Europe from Mr. Houghton. That and what sent was that them in 1965. Yeah. He oh, chose... Went to Europe in 65. <laughs> He chose educators in Queen Anne's County, and okay. they he sent them on a oh, four-week. What Houghton? Who, who? Houghton. Oh, who's Arthur that? Houghton, White Plantation. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. And he, a money guy. A money, money guy. Yes. And he sent educators from Queen Anne's County to oh, Europe wow. for six weeks. Oh, wow. wow. That was so a good day. I was going to say, oh, I a volunteer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and my mom was one, and she had a wonderful Wonderful. I that was uh, everybody. I mean, you know, probably a lot like that went. Mm -hmm. I, when yeah. I first started, I think here in the late seventies, I remember your mom was sitting in the Canard Building. That was the ninth grade then. Cafe, mm -hmm. I think my years are right. Yeah, I was there sitting. I think Jack Walker, <laughs> your mom, and I forget a wow. whole bunch of supervisors talking. Well, as a teacher, you were afraid to go in. These are your mm -hmm. bosses, right? Mm -hmm. But your mom calmed everybody down. And said, "Come on in, eat. This is it's lunchtime. Don't be hiding, all right?" So we've got you coming back. Family's here. A reason to be back. Chesapeake College, business, and what, what happened after that? Uh, that's when I went into um, Queen Anne's County uh, Board of Ed as the uh, paraprofessional okay. um, with Bayside Elementary. Well, I started at Centerville Elementary. Then I had to go to Bayside Elementary. What they have you doing at Centerville? Um, same Elementary. thing. No, I was just helping the classroom helping teacher. Helping the classroom okay. teacher Did you and enjoy the it? Churchill. Did you enjoy it? Or? I sure did. Okay. I, I wanted to go back, but um, the children and things weren't like they used to be. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, no, I didn't go back. Times I, I went to the Board of Ed, and I was the uh, finance clerk there. Well, how long were you in the classroom? Um, I spent most of the years in the classroom. Five or ten years? or uh, More than that. I spent oh, really? like five or ten, maybe, at... Um, the uh, Board of Ed and okay. Finance, yeah, okay. and the rest so, of the time, yeah. Okay. Now, Martha, you were 40 years in the classroom, correct? Good look. Well, I was a transition. <laughs> I like to see her going there now. <laughs> That's why I got out. Right. <laughs> I um, ended my career in the, tw I mean, as a transition coordinator for mm -hmm. special ed, and, trying and, and to explain get. explain to the public, what's that, what's that? The transition coordinator's job was taking, working with students from 14 to 21 mm -hmm. years old who had special needs that, what was their future going to be? And, and looking by law, at it with they were allowed to stay in school to 21. Until yes. 21, yeah. and okay. then figuring out what was going to happen after 21 with the okay. parents. So you transitioned and I was into coordinating the real world. That Okay, right? that would have been Looking tough. for jobs, taking, sending them to college, or, um, you know, getting them services through DDA okay. or through any Getting benefits. them ready to go in the real world. Right. right which is tough. Now, uh, what got you to the Board of Ed? I thought you had better sense than that young lady. What well. <laughs> <laughs> and we stay positive. <laughs> yeah. What well, got me there? Um, uh, in 1998, I got um, stage four breast cancer. So um, working in the school was okay until, you know, I had to start taking chemo, chemo. and mm. radiation mm. and um, surgery and stuff. So I had to go somewhere mm -hmm. where I wasn't around a lot of children. Yes, yes. So um, 
working there at the um, Board of Ed, I was uh, able to, you know, be. And mm -hmm. you went in the business office? I went in, no, I, I, went? I, I, I went um, in the finance department. Finance office, okay. In the finance, finance department. I started mm -hmm. off first um, in the um, receptionist okay. office. Yes. And then, I mean, out front. Yeah, out front. Out front. Okay. Then I went to uh, the finance department. Robin Langraff mm -hmm. grabbed you and took you up back. Right? Yes, that's, that's right. Okay. <laughs> now, what were you actually doing there? Um, like I did checks for the bus drivers, okay. paying the bills, you know. I'm glad you, someone was paying yeah. the bills. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. And purchase order, you know, finance stuff. Okay. So you're doing yeah. business. You're, yeah, doing you're paying the bills. I was doing the business. He's <laughs> no good. So, Mars, let me continue. go back. Okay. Mm -hmm. Back in the, your coach, let's, let's talk about your coaching career. You did field hockey. How many I years did. did you do that? Um... Well, all together, yeah. probably 20. 20 years. Off and on. Wow. I wasn't the head coach okay. all 20 years, but I assisted, st you know, different coaches. Were you head coach at one point? Uh-huh. seems like when I got... About 14 or 15 years. That's what years I thought. I did okay. that, yes. Now, how was that experience? Did I loved you love it? it. Well, you played field hockey in well, high school Well, I just college. loved being around those young women. You know, it was such a different afternoon job than my Well, you had a very job. intense day exactly. job with those kids. Exactly. Their and I really, I still am in touch with the, Who were some of your players? You remember? Give me Meg a Meg Joyce, um, mm -hmm. Wendy Hahn, Susan, or Lauren Morris, I mean, Amy. 20 years Davidson. worth of great kids. I mean, just wonderful kids, really wonderful now, did you kids. did you ever make playoffs, state playoffs? Or we you? didn't. We got close. We beat Severna Park. The who tough thing, people don't realize well, here, in the old days, we used to be we play against... We were 4A. We were 4A. We had to play against the Anne Arundel County Schools. Yes. Now, poor Dave Cooper with football, I know with cross country. Yeah. That kicked the you-know-what out of us because well, we <laughs> they, were, yeah. they were more competitive. Um, you know, oh, no, sure. no, our kids were wonderful. Yeah. But there was a whole different. As soon as you cross now the bridge... Now look at it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's now so we, different. Yeah, yeah, which yeah. is good. So oh, so different. you were... Who were the power? Was Severna Park the powerhouse? Severna Park had not been beaten in three years, mm. and we ended up beating oh, them one him. night under the lights. Oh, tell us about First that. game under the <laughs> lights, <laughs> lights in '92. Well, see, a lot of people don't, don't realize we didn't have lights until no, it was a Bay we Horny worked or who? And Dave and me and you organized we it? all Bo Hardesty. Oh, so the first year underneath. The, tell us about that game for a second. Oh, you remember much of it? Yeah, I do. Yeah. She's and got a good memory. Good, good, you, good. We beat them, and it was like. The most Super Bowl. wonderful thing, but then we had to play them again because remember we were a four A school, so they we were went tick. back. Well, they said they, you know, they had signs up when we arrived. It says miracles only happen once. <laughs> it's a part the park is it? Really? They did it. What was the score they when you it. beat them over here? Do you remember? I don't Two to one. Oh, so it was a tight game. It was a tight, tight game. game. It was, I mean, but we beat them. Oh, I imagine. The and it was in the Baltimore Sun oh, and everything wow. that wow. Severna Park upended. Well, they were probably you know, number by, one in the They eight. called us the children of the corn. <laughs> well, they, do you remember that? I do remember that. Someone had T-shirts <laughs> made. Yeah, yeah children of the corn. Well, yeah. I didn't, but <laughs> children of the corn because everywhere you look, there's corn fields. Right. Yeah. Our field yeah. hockey field mm -hmm. at the time was out on the well, front. Well, we were considered the country bumpkins. When we went against yeah. Broadneck, uh, Gwen Burney, Ever who like Chesapeake, wherever the schools mm -hmm. over there, bless their hearts, Fort Meade, <laughs> they, they considered That's us it. a bunch of uh, local yokels coming across. <laughs> who, unfortunately, they could normally. I remember yes. Merv Doherty, who you, I think you both remember when he mm -hmm. coached basketball. We played against Annapolis High, state champions. Mm -hmm. Jump ball, opening jump ball, a guy tapped it. On one bounce, one of their kids got it and dunked it. Yeah. And like Merv said, it's over, man. Everybody's exactly. there. Oh, that's all it was. Yeah. But these guys, it was, it was a different thing. Yeah. So 20 years of field hockey. Yes. Wow. And you enjoyed every moment of it? Every moment. Okay. I did. Now, how about, so at the Board of Ed, you were Dr. Sadusky. Yes. And Dr. Williams. Were you there, were you there with Williams and mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, was it? When um, Dr. Sadusky was there, mm -hmm. um, I had... I did a recognition banquet. Oh, really? And uh, he came. Oh, good. And Janet Pauls. Yes. The two of them. Okay. And uh, it, I did it in Denton, at a church in Denton. 
Yeah, but it was a mm. nice recognition. Our church with. did a recognizing. Some yes. Oh, very good. Okay, all right. I like doing stuff like that. Well, it is. Hey, a little uh, celebrity time and a couple trophies and a couple hugs are actually kind of fun. Right? Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, Martha, I gotta, we'll go, we got plenty of time here. What in the world are you doing now? After 40 years, you should just sit down and do nothing. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so what are you doing now? I know you're doing twice as much as most of us, but go ahead. How much time we got? We got to squeeze this in. Oh, well, I have two older grandchildren, Kendall. How many total Clark. grandchildren? I have five. Oh, you got five, okay. Kendall's 20, and okay. she is going to Kansas State University. Oh, good for her. But she yeah. does out, it virtually. Out in Manhattan, in Manhattan Kansas? Uh-huh, yep. Manhattan, Kansas. Dean's List, doing well, Excellent. studying agriculture and steer management, and I don't her. know what it all Wait is. And then there's Doolin Clark, who already has a name, a road name. Well, right say, what, what, how can they have a road uh, and that is it? He's 17. He has a road named after him. I like it. He's a rising senior at Queen Anne's County good. High School, good, good, and he's good. a... Fabulous baseball player. He's a I'm baseball gonna, player. He's a huge baseball player. Oh, he had a player. granddad who's a pretty good baseball player. Yes, correct? he yeah. does. And he, I'm going to brag on Dwayne. Go ahead. That's what the show is about, bragging. Um, he yeah. won the ABC Wide World of Sports Home Run Derby a couple of years ago. Really? Yeah, he's... Um, you know, I think he wants to play in college, but okay. I'm out of it. You know, he'll be a senior this year. He is a senior coming. Now, up. We're, the red, we're the little ones now. You know. And then Amanda's children. She waited to have children. Now, I'm a lot older now than That's all right. the other two. <laughs> so I have a I have yeah. a three year old oh, Jackson. He'll be four. That is a He's baby. going to pre K <laughs> at Churchill Elementary oh, School. Very good. Okay. Then I have Joshua who is one and a half, and then I have a new infant, Maddie, Maddie after my brand, grandmother, brand new, brand new. Maddie Lee, as in four months old, oh, wow. Maddie Lee, Ooh. named after my grandmother, Maddie oh, Anthony, nice. yeah. and um, so they keep me very They're keeping busy. you busy. Oh, they you got some tiny busy. ones. I mean, you got <laughs> ones you're doing I this way, right? I am feeding <laughs> bottles, too, and stuff, now, yes. I'm going to get both of you to talk. So I know you do, okay, you're good, doing a great job as a grandma. You're active with the veterans. And character counts. Character counts. I do the Betterment Club in Sudlersville, the Auxiliary, um, Dudley's Chapel in Sudlersville. I'm a trustee of their church. Um, I mean, I you're can't staying busy. I, there's a yes. I think the secret of retirement is staying busy. Yeah, right? I mean, doesn't matter what you do. Yes. And the young one. What are you doing? The, <laughs> the young one. <laughs> She's throwing dates at us, right? I Come know. on. She's graduating from high school. I'm an old man. I mean, I've, I've had a baby by then. <laughs> Come on, man. I had my first baby oh. earlier. So, so what are you doing to keep yourself out of trouble? Uh, what I'm doing now, um, I have a nonprofit. Created on the his shirt. Image Empire, Inc. Very good. Uh, founder of that. And... Um, I enjoy my husband and uh, peanut. He, peanut. He does. He does all my patios for me. Peanut us. concrete. Yes, okay, that, that's me. what he, his business. He and I went to school together. Oh really? So. Yeah. See, I. Oh really? Oh, I love that. <laughs> and you I get all the dirt on him, Martha. You can do uh, anything. Oh, all that. He's a great. Oh, he did great a great job on the patio. Oh, I love the job. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's <laughs> great. Um, what, let's see. June the fifteenth, when I had my event for. Um, my nonprofit. That was the same day it was our anniversary. <laughs> oh, well, how many years? 39 years. 30, congratulations. Wow, Good job. Wonderful. Good job. Yeah, we have two girls. Okay. Yes, and um, we have uh, two uh, grandsons. Oh, right. Yeah. Good for and, you. And the oldest one, that is 18. Are you trying to catch up to here to Martha? She's got five. <laughs> Watch out. you got three to go. 18, uh, we have this big sign out in the front of our house. You I seen saw it? You that, said it yes. And um, he went to Chapel Gate um, Christian School. Okay. Yeah, so he, and he played basketball. So. Oh, he's a basketball player. Yeah, Good for him. Yeah. Now, ladies, I have to ask you, you're both born and raised here, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What, it's good to, I like to talk to natives. In your <laughs> lifetime, give me, what are the biggest changes? I mean, I know we've only been here since 79 or whenever. I mean, I think it's changed <laughs> radically. You go back, you guys can turn. So, what are some of the major changes oh, you've seen? Goodness sakes. First of all, population. Okay, and, it's bigger, bigger. And a lot of come here's. 
mm -hmm. are here. Yeah. So we the chicken neck is a taken over Martha. Be careful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. And that you know that's okay. Sure. I mean that's what makes the world go yes. around. Yes. But at the same time, um, when I grew up in Centerville, we were segregated. Okay. There was a Kennard High School, right? Yes, and yes. white only. Yes. Um, yeah. Like at Centerville. the restaurants in Centerville, yes. the New York restaurant was a big place, and you know, one side and one that I remember as a, a lot. Now this is a kid. And now, as a child, a child in yeah. the fifties and sixties, okay. okay. and then it changed. So that's been a good change. Good change. That, a good change that's happened, and that, but that's a big change okay. because yes. I was still aware. You know, Why are we dividing uh, people? Makes, yeah, right. You, I mean, you're saying what, what's going on. It was like a no. rite of passage. Yeah. You know, you just didn't go yeah, in right. the same doors. Yeah, and how stuff. about that? Where did you all? What, what street did you say? I lived on Liberty Street. Okay. Well, how about Centerville itself? The town, how did it change? Population, obviously, with well, Northbrook. And, there's yeah. all new housing and okay. stuff. And I grew up in an older home on Liberty Street. Um, so it was, it was, you know. It just changed. It's different. It's it, just changed. There's well, the people thing, are different. My, yeah, Lack of, not very many businesses like there were okay. when I was younger. Say, what, there's what, no. What businesses Well, there were three drug stores. Th downtown. Downtown. Where? There was a jewelry store. Well, there was Connors on one side. There was, I believe. That's Joe Connors' dad. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. There was Thompson's Drug Store, where Edwards is now. Okay, so there's a and, drug store there. And there was a movie theater. Well, Bill Moore, that burnt down. Yes, it did in 1968, and I lived right behind where it happened. Well, one of the amazing stories, mm -hmm. and this came out of the veterans group, you all know James Watson, mm -hmm. you know Bill Moore. Mm -hmm. I, okay, they both worked in the movie theater. Bill, and I correct me, worked on the first floor, mm -hmm. which was white, and James worked on the right. second That's floor right. where the African Americans went. They never knew each other, mm -hmm. the same place. Mm -hmm. That's how this town was so That's different, right? It was different. Mm -hmm. Was different. <laughs> yeah. Now, were you alive? When New York Steakhouse was here. Was oh yeah, the New York restaurant. Oh, what was that? Tony Contos what was, was a like? little immigrant from. I shouldn't say little, but he was short and stature. Little stature. Italian guy. Like me. Italian yeah, guy. Yeah. And um, that was the hangout for. No. All. We went to dinner there now, every other night. When you say hangout, teenagers or no, no, Everybody, parents, families. Okay. The food yeah. was good. Wow. It was I didn't, they yeah, all, it was Bill great. Moore, that's all they talk about is the steakhouse. <laughs> yeah, Tony's. Wow. <laughs> now, did the let me go back. The movie theater burnt down. Was it that your life? It did in 1968. Where, uh, I watched it. Oh, you watched. That was mm. a big event. I lived on Liberty, and it was Just right through. And my father had an office in the brick building that's on Water Street, okay. right past the eye place now, optical okay, guy. Yeah, okay. That brick building my dad owned. Oh, the tall one, mm -hmm. the, the, the tall building. Red brick. Oh, wow, mm -hmm. okay. So he had a renter in the back part of it, so we had to go get her and put her in our house. Oh, get her out of the, well, well, get her right. out of the danger. the whole block burn? Mm -hmm. Oh, the whole block. Mm -hmm. oh, Bill Moore that. tells me it was like a major event. It was a major, major event. Wow. Now, why didn't, uh, 1968. Say, no one was oh. interested in putting a movie theater back? Or? Well. Oh. It was called the Opera House. I oh, mean, opera. and they it's did a general all, in general in my lifetime, mm. and later it was a movie theater okay. until '68. Okay. I don't know. There was a lot of controversy about maybe it was set or oh. arson. I don't know. Mr. Mm. Fernicola was yeah. the owner. Oh, I, I never heard that. Name. Mr. Fernicola. <laughs> I didn't mm -hmm. He owned it, but I, but mm. then again, they said the coke, the something exploded and caught. I don't. Nobody I don't knows. think anybody knows. really knew. But it was a major event. But it was a major event in Centerville. I mean, okay. we stunk for years of oh, fight. The smell. And I'm petrified of that smell. Really? I have post traumatic now, stress. How old were you? Go about maybe years. 68, I was in the kid. ninth grade. Oh, you were a kid? Yeah, you were yeah, a kid. Yeah, 14. Mm. So. Now, how about what were, the big what were the big changes in Queen Anne's County for you? Lucky you didn't. Not a bar. I know. Well, she's old time. You're I, new time. Come on. Thank you. Another old <laughs> reference. <laughs> Martha, I'm going to warn you, it doesn't stop now. We, we labeled it. It's on our foreheads. It's okay. Well, um, like the stores, um, oh, well, yeah. some of the stores that have changed this right they, up in town. What are some of the ones you remember? There used to be a drugstore up there. Who was that by? Um, was it Flavors? Was this, I, don't, I don't remember, but it was a liquor store. I think it's a... Uh, um, Lawyers Road. Oh, at the, the end there. Yeah, on that oh, end. Peely's. 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 Peely
she when was, I was here. Around. Yeah. <laughs> well, they, she's was been there a long there, time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was still, yeah. It's a lawyer's yeah. office now, right, I right. think. Mm -hmm. What other biggies? Any other biggies? And biggest? when we used to get out of high school, right across from the Acme. The old, it, now the old, we, now tell everyone what the old oh, Acme oh. was. Old. Yeah, the old Acme um, is uh, what, Mama Mia? Yeah, by the mm -hmm. railroad track. Yeah. The old by railroad the railroad track. track. Right. Okay. And then across from that, it, right now they have what, the animal yeah. hospital. Veterinarian, mm -hmm. yes, yes. And, and it used to be the Dollar and General store. Oh, I can remember the Dollar General. Yes, yes. 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 <laughs> And uh, now the new Acme, which is um, what um, down by the yeah, high school, out, right yeah, yes. across from there, we used to go there to have fun um, after Lions we got out of high school. Okay. Yeah, you right. could just walk yeah. across the field, right? You right, yeah, and we could hang in. We could hang in town. And yeah, it was neat, you know. We thought we were grown, you know, in town. Well, that, I always thought that was the best part of Queens. Kind of mm -hmm. the day was so you just walk down the street just and you're walk, in. Yeah. You're, the stores and places to go. And Acme was known as the American store first before it became okay. Acme. That was a, it was actually um, American well, store. Well, I mean, that was. A, I have no idea. Okay. I guess. No, that was where the But my old grandmother Acme. used to call it the old, Air. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, there was one downtown, and then it moved out a little bit to oh, where yeah. Mama Mia's was. But it was oh, called yeah. the American store, not the Acme. Oh, yeah. And the the railroad track, I used to see um, the trains. The trains, oh, yeah, yeah they they definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wasn't there more there a southern stage or some? What was down? Because they used to take. Yeah. The train used to come right. It you still know. moves. Okay, but I mean, not it, all the way into Center the tracks, uh, it used, I think it was Southern State. They go to Tidewater Publishing. That's oh, as far as they go. Okay. And right. they go up to Sudlersville and then up to Massey and okay. that sort of thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you had a movie theater, you had a steakhouse. I can remember when we first moved here, there's a jewelry store part, where part of the bank is now. Mm -hmm. That was pretty nice. I mean, yeah. I went there for something. Mm -hmm. and then my favorite was Mr. Goldstein's store. Uh, Foxes came, five and Foxes. Five. Yes, he was, he yes, was a great, remember. remember that? Yeah, where the bank is. Yeah, the yeah. Bank, yeah. Uh -huh. Martha, is he not the best? Was he not the right. best? We go in great. there with the kids. Yeah. The idea was we'd buy nothing. We came out with. He was the only man who could sell yellow sneakers, <laughs> stuff you didn't need. But didn't exactly, he was such a nice man. And right. there was a furniture yeah. store where. Um, yes. Not uh -huh. Callahan's, but where On the Thompson's lawyer's mm -hmm. office mm -hmm. in that area. Yeah. And then, of course, the biggest favorite for me, which I'm so old, you probably won't <laughs> remember, is Mr. Harmon Eaton's candy store. Oh, tell and us Mr. about that. Kess, we don't know about that. Oh, uh, no. you could buy penny candy. Right downtown. Right downtown. Yeah. It right is where mm -hmm. the Procol Pro not Procolinas. Pizza the place. pizza, Coliseum Pizza. Coliseum, and okay. then next to that was the bicycle store, Mr. Kessler. You had a bicycle. Kessler. I didn't know about the bicycle. bicycle store, Mr. Now, tell Kessler. Us about, oh, go back. So the candy store was nothing Harmony but candy? Harmony Eaton. All no, candy. Penny candy. Penny no. candy, and you got to pick what you wanted, and you, you know. For a dollar, you get a hundred pieces oh, of candy. Oh, man, it right. was like living in heaven. Yes. It was yes. wonderful. And then the bike store was Mr. Kessler, no, who bike, his bike, wife. No, bike, like a pedal bike. Yeah, bicycles. Okay. And then <laughs> Ms. Mr. Kessler's wife was the first kindergarten teacher in Queen really? Anne's County, wow. Mrs. Kessler. Mm. And he, she, they lived on Belvedere Avenue. And well, you could buy bikes and he fixed bikes. Yes. Oh, wow. He and that was, was really that, talented. Have, that must have gone about before uh, we got here. Well, that's yeah. how, that was our <laughs> transportation, bikes. Oh, I bet What about yeah. the um, post office? Do you remember the post office? I don't. Down from the laundromat. I don't remember that. Yeah, got that big glass I think I'm yeah, too my young. My mom moved in there one time, and then they said she couldn't stay there because, um, you know, yeah. it was only for <laughs> business purposes. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, so she had to move. I'm, I think I'm too young something. for when that happened. Well, <laughs> only I remember because that's, you know, my mom moved in right. there, but at the yeah, time, no. I guess. That was the I wasn't office. around then. You yeah. probably both remember. Do you remember where the county building is now? Mm -hmm. Used to be the sheriff's office, mm -hmm. and uh, the that great was my bus stop. <laughs> oh, tell me, well, tell me, Chip Greg, we told us the story. It used to be that the sheriff's wife had to cook meals for the mm -hmm. prisoners. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. But one day, true. apparently, and, uh, this is a good Chip Gregory story. <laughs> a guy broke out, and I don't know who the sheriff or the Sewell or ever who was Anthony. somebody. And he said, "Look it." I'll buy you all a carton of cigarettes if you get that guy. So <laughs> running down the highway, or, or you know, 213 going out of town, all these guys chasing this guy for a carton. Of, 
I mean, is that true? Uh, yeah, I'm sure it was. True. Well, my bus stop was right there to in get to the, the high school in front of the in front jail. Of the jail. <laughs> and the inmates in the back. They'd be waving and... <laughs> at you. Right? <laughs> yeah, because yeah, well, we, well, we did have bus travel from in town. No, we didn't. When we went to elementary school, we walked Okay. had safety patrols. Do you remember when they um, turned it into the haunted house? Yes. yes. Boy, that was the newest yes. thing yes. you could do was around Halloween Crack time. Crack You could go in. And I think they kept a portion in there of the <laughs> the bars and stuff, you know. <laughs> yeah. But it was really neat going in there. My brother was the architect of the Liberty Building. Was he right? Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you've both seen some changes. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Now, how about, I always thought that one of the biggest changes was, and we were getting a couple minutes left, the two high schools. Mm -hmm. We used to have homecoming parades. Everybody in the county came, right? The band was 100 people. I mean, the women's, remember mm -hmm. the center of the women's club, they'd be in the parade. Mm -hmm. uh, the two high schools, it was good for Ken Island, because mm -hmm. it wasn't fair they had to drive up, but it divided the county, I thought. Mm -hmm. What do you think is the natives? Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. It was almost kind of sad. But you had yeah. to. Yeah, it wasn't fair. Yeah, you had to do Imagine it. Imagine people from the end of Route 8. What time would they get on a bus? Uh, they come all the way up. I mean, it just yeah. wasn't fair. And it's yeah. almost that way now with the northern end of the county, which they're county. going to have to do something with high school so probably. Is, so is those ready. With a new development coming yes. in in yes. Sutlersville with more homes being yeah. built. I think in our lifetime we're going to see a high school. And rightfully so. They need mm -hmm. a library. They yeah, need a high yeah. Well, I, I, now let me ask this last thing before we go. I always, we've lived here almost 50 years. It's two counties. Mm -hmm. was it like, I mean, from Kent, three or one, well, Kent narrows down is one county. Love them. There's nothing mm -hmm. wrong with them. Mm -hmm. Upper county, it's different. We got an agricultural community and we have a suburban community. Was it always like that? Or? Um, I'll tell you, with the change in population as a teacher, I could always tell you when I was picking field hockey teams, when we were all one high school, Queen Anne's, when we all came together, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I could pick out the Kent Island children, yeah. girls, and I could tell you the Centerville girls, How? and I by, could by tell you the way by they dressed, their, way they dressed okay. their mannerisms, okay. their the way they acted, okay. it was just different. 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 Now, I, mean, I don't know if that it's the same, I don't know but either. I could tell you, no. she must be from Ken Island, or she must be. <laughs> now, from when you were in school, were there two I, or one? I was Ken Island. Oh, you, oh, you were Ken yeah, oh. I was Ken Island. So, what did you think about Ken Island bus? And then we went from Ken Island, then to Graysonville. Okay. It was mm. Kennard School with Miss Nesbitt. Um, yes, yeah. phys ed teacher. teacher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's my teacher. Oh, she. Oh, oh yeah. I'm sorry. Ms. This is Nesbitt. I'm thinking um, of Okay. Yeah. Mr. Green, our bus driver and stuff. Okay. And then after that, then us Ken Island. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Nairs. We went to um, Centerville. Centerville. Yeah. And where the Board of Education, you know, is. Right. That's where we went mm -hmm. after, you know, from. Um, that was a middle school before, before the middle, middle school. school. Oh, oh, I didn't that know. That. Was our middle Centerville school. Middle hadn't been built. Well, ladies, yet. you've seen a lot of change. Uh, and I have a feeling. Not much is. No. Well, well, you're young. You cheated on us here, right? Here we Martha, go again. Martha, you and I, we're over the dam, all right? Well, ladies, look at our time's about up. I really appreciate it. Well, thank uh, we're going to have you come again okay. because I know you're very active with the veterans community, all right? Yes. Well, both of you talk about some stuff you're doing, all right? Yes. Awesome. Well, thank both of you thank for coming. Thank you, Fred. I appreciate it, okay? Appreciate what you My do. My name's Fred McNeil. Thank you for watching. My time's up. Thank you for your time. We're going to see you next time.